Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we get to play our very first match on Football Manager. Um, if you've watched the match before, you know that we are uh, Athletic Hub, Olu, and there's been a couple changes. Um, I'm just going to kind of, like, yeah, just throw them out there. I was able to sign Micah Graham home. Um... You know, I, I'm trying something new at least this time around when I when I play. Usually, I, I have a very strict, well, not really strict, but generally I play a lot of youth players. I kind of have a little bit of a Arsene Wenger theology behind how I put together my squad. I have a lot of young players, and I sell usually when they're in their prime for the maximum amount of money that you can, and all that sort of thing. So that's usually what I go for. But however. To jumpstart this, this time I'm actually going to go after um, older players. Since we have a lot of older players as it is, um, I'm going to go after some older players to kind of get us jumpstarted and get us going. Um, hopefully it'll be, a it'll be a little different because usually those older players are a little bit better, a little bit farther along in their careers. Um, they have better mental attributes and stuff like that so they can, you know, in general perform a little bit better. So hopefully that'll give us, um, you know, a good, you know, five, ten, you know, results that are a little bit better than they should be if you've just got, you know, a bunch of kids playing. So um, that's what we've done. Um, like I said, I went after Grant Holm. Uh, we have uh, Hytenem was already here. Uh, Robbie was one that I just signed uh, just a couple days ago before the very first match even. So we're so we're about ready to go into this with uh was that three new three new signings going into the first eleven, um Murat Onal um one thing that we were absolutely m missing entirely was a true striker, um we didn't have any strikers that were really that good, uh -huh. so um I splashed a little bit of cash and signed Onal and now I have should have a new striker we do at least have a um, um a little bit of depth at that position just a tiny bit um but we did sign Hananen um I showed you that in the last episode um so he should be you know good to go here soon however he's kind of I'm kind of keeping him in 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 the mix for the um 4-3-2-1 like I said this match coming up is against uh Tervaret and it is a domestic cup match so it's sort of important uh, so i'm going to try and put the best side that i can out there um tactic wise we are completely just we have nothing going on literally um the squad has no no experience in what we're running i'll show you here in a second yeah see yeah that's yeah that's what we're working with through this first first match so i honestly suspect i honestly expect to lose this match um and i'll tell you why because this game, as much as I love Football Manager, I'm not going to say it does this without a shadow of a doubt. But it certainly feels like when you play a team, your familiarity with whatever you're running is at whatever level, you know, good, bad, and different. But theirs is always spot on. It always feels like they're in mid-stride. You know, every time that they're in mid-season form, every time you run into them. So, like I said, I'm really expecting to lose this first match. Now, my tactics, I'm sure, are not entirely 100% awesome. You can see them there on the left or right-hand side. You know, you're probably screaming, you know, you shouldn't be running whatever with that formation, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? This is what has gotten me the best results so far, so I'm going to roll with it. Anyhow, that's that. Um, other signings that we have on the bench, like I said, we have Hananen. Uh, Kokea Aho is sitting here as well. He came over on a non-contract. He's our backup to that true striker position. Um, I suspect we'll probably have to play him at some point because I don't expect to get any goals. We did happen to sign Hogblum um, from an amateur side. Same same side we got um grand home from the reason i'm not starting him even though he is better than uwusu is because uwusu has been here has been here a while he's a bit more familiar with the other players that are here so i'm gonna go with him to start this match but anyhow that's enough 
of this. Let's let's get into this, shall we? I mean, I'm just gonna auto number these guys because truthfully, I really don't care. I mean, it's this is the first generation of players that you got, and they're probably not gonna be all that great. In all honesty, look at the other Christmas tree formation. Oh my God, I wanted to use that. But oh Jesus, we're in this ugly yellow and blue. By the way, um. I do use the, um, oh, what the hell is it called? Uh, the, um, shit, what is it called? The, uh, the, oh my god, what is it? Oh, the real-time editor. I do use the real-time editor for the sole purpose of changing unis. The uniform that we're in right now is going to be our third kit. It's not our first or our second. So it's our third kit. And oops, oh, there we go. It's our third kit, and which I don't know how we end up in our third kit, but hey, whatever, we're in it. And yeah, I'm gonna change that because honestly, I have a deep seated hatred for the color yellow. Um, and that's all I'm gonna use it for. That literally is, you know, it really is all I use it for. Um, oh geez, what do I want to, uh, 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 that sounds about right. Like I said, we're probably I'm expecting to lose here. I I really am. Even though we're favored, we're really favored. We really are. But um, I don't expect to just overpower them with our talent. I mean, it's it you know many years of playing this game. I understand how this shit kind of goes, and you know it's one of those things where it it infuriates you because you know it says hey you should be winning this game with no fucking problem. And then your team just sucks balls and does things like that right there. And once again, their team seemingly doesn't do as much of that or any of that. So, you know, it it is what it is. I mean, it's, uh, it's a necessary evil. And it's really the hardest thing. Like the first season, you know, if you've ever played this, if you've ever played Football Manager, the first season is always the hardest Oh God, is it hard? I mean, it's not necessarily. It's just. It's not necessarily like that. It's super duper, like literally hard, hard or anything like that. It's just, it's frustrating. It's hard emotionally because, you know what your team should be doing, and you know what you've set up, to do, and you know what you can do. You've seen, you know what you're doing now work before, but it doesn't work because they're just all over the fucking place. You know, and that's that's one of those things that is just it's one of those growing pains, and I hate it. Quite truthfully, I hate it. That's a nice pass, but it doesn't end anything. I mean, I would, you know, I'm okay. This is one of those games where I'm I'm perfectly fine. This is nice. He's a nice space right there. That's what the fuck was that though? Holy shit! Put a bit too much on that, buddy. Way too much. But, um, you know, oh, and, and in case you haven't noticed, um, uh, Granholm is a bit tired from, you know, having played a match recently, but I do plan on subbing him, and I believe I do, I'm pretty sure I have somebody on the bench for him, but if I don't, it's not the first time I've done that. Um, like I said, I, I think we'd be lucky and fortunate to walk out of this match with a one two goal win truthfully um i mean i just i'm really he's in space there you go oh forced a forced a corner out of it at least but um yeah um also uh the first season um i didn't mention this in the last video and i should now actually um, when it comes to like, the, like coaching changes, I may do like some sort of uh, update on that too if people are really that interested in it. Um, I do. Uh, that is a very very important part of that game, and then I do I, I do take a long time picking the right coaches and you know getting the right coaches and shit. Who touched that ball last? Holy Christ! That took forever to get over there. But um, you know uh, that's. That's one of those things that um, I usually don't touch until later. 
and I did forget to mention something that is vitally important actually to the LP. He sat up Chancellor. There we go. I'm a little late on the pass, but oh boy, there we go. Sorry, if I do clap and shit, you know, I, I apologize. I do shit like that. I get really emotionally invested in this game. I mean, a one goal lead, you know, I'm not saying we're gonna win here, but I'm, I'm, good start. 16 minutes into it, I'm, it's a good start. I'm happy with that. But uh, as I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted by us scoring a goal. Arr. Um, one vitally important thing to note is this club is a semi-professional club. That means all of our players are part-time. We are not professional as of yet. Um, the Finnish Premier Division, or whatever it's called, above us, um, is probably a good three-quarters professional, and the rest of it is, um, semi, well, not really the rest of it. It's only a handful of clubs, like three, four, maybe, are, um, semi-pro clubs. So, um, there's that. That's something that's going to be a huge landmark for us, and it's really going to open a lot of doors when that actually happens as to what kind of players we can actually sign and where this club is going. That's probably um, about, we're in our first season now, that's probably about season three, four, five, six, maybe, depending on how things go. Um, but the idea, the hope in the idea is three to four seasons in, we turn professional. That's what we're really looking for. Because um, like I said, that's when, obviously, you really make your mark on, on the game itself and, and, and start putting shit together. But, um, yeah, that, that, like I said, I should have, I really should have said that in the last, in the opening video, and I apologize for not doing so. Oh, that was a tantalizing pass if that would have made it through, but I didn't really expect it to. Um, you are starting to see how, how we're kind of pinching the corners here with the three, the three player, the three players, the midfielder and, oh, the attacking midfielder and the, and the, the fullbacks there. Um, that's kind of how this formation works. Um, if you saw me setting up the tactics before, you saw me, uh, you know, choosing to close down the wing players. That's another thing that, once again, has seemed to work really, really well. Same thing with Owusu coming back there. Owusu is playing a halfback position. Uh, at least that's the role for the defensive midfielder, which he does exactly what he did right there. He kind of drops back into this role in between the center backs back here and, and fills space and intercepts passes and, and breaks down of offensive moves and shit like that. So um, that's a little football 101 for you. And then, uh, ooh, yeah, he's in source of left. No, why would you shoot that? Um, yeah, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible right there. I do need to go through, um, I did upload my, my tactics. There you go, there's a wing back really playing well there. I did update my tactics to use my, um, oh boy. To use my Galway, uh, tactics, which, which, um, I do need to make sure and check that it, it saves the, uh, oh, nice. All the individual roles there, um, like, uh, like shooting from distance that, that Owusu just did a minute ago. That was, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of way behind the play here, but, um, yeah. I'm just trying to get, like, used to commentating on this sort of shit. Because, like, with Pokemon and stuff, if you watch the other videos, or even Fear, I can kind of stop for a second. As this kind of plays out, I mean, I have no control over it. I mean, I control the team talks and the um, the the uh, formation and all that shit that goes on behind the scenes up until you know the finished product, which is what you're seeing now. So it's gonna take me a while to get used to commentating this. And I don't like where this is going. He saved that, and yeah. And that that's something there. Like I, I really prefer the 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 wing backs. Well, they operate as wing backs, but they're really full backs to, to really stick to this to line up here, to stick to the edge of the box. And seriously, no one's gonna run at that. Someone could have caught up to that and 
counterattacked. I do like, I do have the stats up here, the match stats. Um, this is something, I, I'm going to talk a lot about at least the first few matches. Instead of talking about stuff that pertains particularly to the match, I'm going to just kind of talk about stuff that pertains to um, this LP in general. Um, so, yeah. Um, these these are just like the standard boxes. Oh no, I don't like this. Shut it down. Clear it. Whoa, okay, that was frightening. Um, where was I? Oh, the boxes. These are just really the standard boxes that I use. Um, if there's other stats and stuff like that that uh, people want, ooh, want to see, um, please leave a comment and, and let me know and shit like that. I mean, it's just. It's just one of those things that, you know, this is just what I prefer. I'm not really tied to it. I just throw the latest scores. Oh, rocket that, please. Jesus. You know, latest scores thing. I mean, it's just, I just like keeping tabs on that. Just personally, like I said, it's just my thing. Um, I can customize the stats and stuff like that to have more shit on there. And it's halftime. With a two-goal lead, I'm, I'm happy with where we are. By the way, uh, fun fact, Trevarit is one of our feeder clubs. Not that I've had much luck with feeder clubs in this game, but, uh, uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, is it, yeah, it's you. I'm going to switch him right at halftime, because I don't like his, his condition, I guess, I don't know. It's the best way to, best way to explain that. Um. Yeah, but I do, uh, in reference to the boxes and all that good shit that's going on that I'm talking about, ish, the, um, possession right here, and, uh, obviously the shot count is, is really nice to see. I mean, it's, I'm a bit of a stat guy. I like stats. You know, I mean, there, there is a reason why I have it on comprehensive, and quite honestly, if there's a way to extend the game and not have it, you know, see the full 90 minutes, I mean, you see about half an hour of the game with comprehensive honestly that's probably what this video will end up being um but i i like to see a lot of the match in the stats like i said i kind of pair those up and, and look at you know mostly uh possession oh my god that's fantastic thank you so much an own goal we'll take that i will take that shit but uh obviously like i said possession and shot chances you know those are the things you really look at clear-cut chances a little bit here and there, but, I mean, it just depends on how the match is going. But that's one of those things where you can look at, like, the box score of a game and be like, oh, shit, eight clear-cut chances, but only one goal. Well, they must have shot terribly. And that's just one of those things that kind of kind of explains what's going on to you if you don't know what you're looking at. But um, a three-goal lead, I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. Um, just a forewarning, though. <laughs> I like I said I get I get pretty emotionally invested in this game and and I get pretty excited when shit happens and like I said I start clapping and I usually when I play this game I'm usually like standing up in my living room I I don't I can't it's hard for me to sit down and play this game seriously it is I mean I don't I don't mean to be like some facetious douche or anything but it really is hard for me to watch or watch I guess watch the matches or just at least play the game you know without without standing up walking around you know but that's just me I, like i said i mean and some people i'm sure can can stand around and and, and just hang out and play this game because i mean it's not like i'm really doing anything it's just you know this is one of those things that i'm interested in and it kind of you know kind of gets my attention i guess but Uh, but anyhow, I'm pretty happy with the way. I don't like how they're uninterested, though. That's kind of irritating me. I saw that there. But a lot of that comes with being a brand new coach. And um, one of the things I usually do in this game is I don't make my coach have, like, uh, you know, international credentials, which does kind of, I don't know, I guess... Um, kind of hurts your street cred is the best way to describe it like you have like a reputation in the game and if you know like i said obviously you haven't 
played the game much physically. You know, you've just been a, I don't know, a scout or, you know, like I said, Sunday League player, I think is what they call it. It's like the lowest level of playing that you can play in this game. And if you come with those sort of credentials, it just, that was a hell of a free kick, by the way. If you kind of come with those sort of credentials, it takes you a while to kind of accrue some reputation and some credit with the players and, and stuff like that you have. Whereas if you come with a, you know, like a background in playing international football, they're like, well, shit, this guy's, you know, played in the World Cup or whatever. He fucking knows what he's talking about. You know, but like I said, I, I like starting at the bottom. That's one of the reasons why I choose the clubs I choose. Um, oof, that was a nice little looping pass there. Oh, oh, oh. That's one thing that kind of irritates me about this game. They don't really chase after those 50-50 ball. Well, it's not really a 50-50 ball right there, but they don't really chase after those second chance shots very much in this game. And I don't know how to make them or encourage them to chase after those. Because, I mean, that right there, I mean, you know, if you could stick a foot in and just get a deflection or something even, you know, you stand a shot at getting in on goal, but... I mean, it is, it is, I guess, what it is, but, oh, shit. Um. Yeah, uh, it's just that's pretty much all there is to it. Just attack them and, and go after them. Because I have played this game before, and oops, sorry, and and I, I got better results if I if I made sure that they uh, that they really went after those positions like that. Um, now, obviously, it depends on what position. Like if they've only got one attacking midfielder, obviously you only go after those. Usually, I'm pretty I'm pretty content to let them have position in midfield or you know at the halfway line and just let them hold it I'm, I'm not I'm not upset with you know letting them hang on to that too much usually um, you know as long as obviously they don't start bombing passes from the halfway line then shit you know obviously is, is an issue but the idea is to keep the scoring threats with my formation in check um, which most of the scoring threats with our formation uh, come from the striker in the middle, or strikers, whoever's in the middle, which is going to be this guy, and whatever or whoever is out wide, which I believe this should be their wing mid, their midfielder right here, which is interesting to see how this this works out because you have like a a front uh, three with this guy wandering around back here. I don't know what he's fucking doing, but you still do seemingly when you look at their formation to have a front three which is interesting considering the way they're kind of playing is very similar to to my four three three formation that we got going in here they're not able to really find a breakthrough right now except for this fucking asshole Rizvani I don't like this prick he's getting shots on goal and that's something too I mean it's yeah, head that out of there, will ya? That's something, too. I mean, they, they do have a goal, which I'm not happy about, but, I mean, for our first run out, I'm not too terribly upset. Um, but the three on target, that's the big thing. I mean, you look at us, we're, what, you know, quarter of our shots on target, or third of our shots on target? Yeah, third of our shots on target. I can't do math. Did I ever tell you that? Can't do math. Can't do math. Not at all. Oh, put it. Oh boy, too many players with. Oh, there you go. Get it out wide and if nearly. I'm very close to getting that on goal. Well, it's very close to making a goalkeeper keep the uh, goalkeeper make a save on that. But 
And once again, it's I'm not too bad, not too bad, not too upset with the way we've played so far. This is an interesting. There you go. There we go. Happy, 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 happy. Um, yeah, pretty good performance so far. Um, as the game goes along, you'll get a handle on our on our formation. You've noticed probably that we got this awkward little triangle thing going on in midfield with this guy. This guy should operate as a box to box midfield. Actually, I gotta check that. I don't know if I changed that on the current formation. Oh boy, look at all those numbers. He's gonna be our halfback defensive midfielder. He's gonna drop back, and then this guy's gonna stagger off a little bit too. You don't see it too much now, but you'll see it here and there. Uh, he drops back closer to the central defenders, and this guy will linger a little bit ahead of him. And the in the midfield, a nice tackle, by the way. That was a hell of a good tackle, and ran after it. He had a chance to put that in on goal, but he didn't. And that's... Oof, yeah, you read that. But like I said, I mean, it, it, we had an interesting formation that kind of staggers things. And that's something that, which is weird for me because I really like, I've mentioned this before, I really like symmetry. And it's really hard for me to make a football formation and not be symmetrical. And there's full time. Nice. All right, 4-1 is our final score here, which isn't, it isn't too bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. For our first run out, I mean, before we've even played a, um, a friendly, I'm... I'm very happy with that. Of course, we were supposed to completely annihilate this team, but, you know, hey. I would have been happier with the clean sheet, but, you know, it is what it is and all that good shit, so. Not too bad. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. A little, I got a little bit of nervousness out of there, too. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of nervous. I, mean, I didn't want to like stumble into this and just get my ass kicked, which is what I was expecting. Cause like I said, I've mean, I played this game many a times, and you know I, I expected to get completely wasted. I've seen it several times. You just get you know, I've seen the complete opposite score: four one on their side from a fucking team that we should be handling with a blindfold on. Seriously, but you know we got the win, and that's what matters. And that's the first meaningful match under our belt um like i said the next few matches i'll do on my own which is like four or five whatever friendlies i'll do all those on my own i'll take care of those and then the next match i believe that you should see is going to be our first um domestic league match which is the most important competition right now just so you know but anyhow if you've made it this far on youtube you know what to do thanks a lot for watching and remember the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.